Hello gorgeous Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Virgo. Be sure to remain open to all of the messages that are meant to come through for you. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you and just leave the rest. Not all of the messages will resonate for you but some of them will. So remain open to your intuition and your inner guidance throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see an image on one of the cards which really stands out for you or perhaps a message on one of the cards or a channeled message really resonates for your situation. If you enjoy this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. Subscribe if you would like to if you haven't already. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Guidance right, for Virgo, please spirit. Let's take a look at your first message, Virgo. God sustains me. A beautiful high vibrational energy coming in for you, Virgo, this week. As I tune each day, as I turn each day over to God, my worries ease and my resistance softens. In the arms of God's love, I find inner peace even if challenging times, even in challenging times. Today, my faith provides me with great strength. I welcome all that comes my way, knowing that the love of God sustains me. Now, I read this to begin with as tuning in each day. And so I'm taking that as a message for you, Virgo, to tune in to your inner guidance and to God energy, to universal spirit source energy every day and see what comes through see what messages you receive see how you feel you may be surprised i'm seeing an inspirational idea or some clarity coming through for some of you i'm seeing a greater connection to the angelic realm i'm seeing spiritual development taking place for others this is a heart-centered energy you'll be radiating out from the heart center and I feel it's going to be opened more and more if you are able to connect in to this spirit energy throughout the week. There is great strength that can be gained from connecting into spirit in this way, tuning in to this spiritual force. And as you turn each day over to God, you are going to find that your worries do ease and that your energy soften which is very powerful. We have the dragonfly energy. There is an old soul energy. You might feel that this is your energy or someone else that you're coming into contact with this week. There is an insight that's going to take place and there is talent that you're going to be forging within yourself. You may be creating uh, something very um artistic in nature I'm seeing you've got a talent there or you are honing your skill set and it's becoming uh, stronger it's becoming more refined something is becoming more refined you will find that you have a talent for something I'm getting that message for someone you have a talent for something and that's going to become evident of what exactly that is in the week ahead the affirmation is a higher truth guides me to live with freedom and grace. You might like to use this affirmation on a daily basis to help raise your vibration if it resonates for you. Give yourself time to grow into your purpose. The later phases of your life will feel more graceful and empowered than the earlier, more frustrating phases of your life. Over time, you can develop your abilities and become a standout talent in your field. Be patient and apply yourself because in due course, outstanding skillfulness will come from your efforts. Rely on your higher self and trust your inner vision, even when it differs from your usual way of approaching life. Give yourself permission to change direction whenever is needed so that you can stay true to your life path. I feel that's a specific message for someone. It's a beautiful message.
there is potential in what you are doing this week. There is potential in this talent, in your skill set, in your work environment, in your relationship. There is potential there. So tap into your intuition. Know what spirit is talking about here for you. Where is the potential lying in your life at the moment? Spirit is asking you to think big for your future. Don't belittle yourself, hold you back or tie yourself to less than. Allow yourself to think big, allow yourself to expand. This is what is in your destiny. This is what spirit is ultimately wanting for you. This is your true spiritual path. You will be able to get more clarity about what this potential is in your life if you do connect into the source that contains everything. God's source. Two hearts sealed as one. So there's a soulmate connection here. If you are in a relationship, it means that the relationship is going to be strengthened this week. If you are single and you are looking for love, it means that there is a potential for love to enter your life or for you to get to know someone very soon. The angels have heard your prayers to meet your soulmate and are here to inform you that this person will arrive in your life very soon. If not already, I'm getting the message that some of you have already met this person. The Five of Pentacles can mean there's a tumultuous, tense situation around your, around your finances or around your home environment or your workplace. Something that's meant to be comforting, an area of life that's meant to be supportive is actually the opposite to that. So I feel that there's going to be a focus on this. There, there is a need to know that it is transitory, that it's not going to stay with you for the long term and that there is a way forward. I see you moving forward here. I see you not staying in the ruin. I see you moving forward and away from it. Recognizing it, yes, it's a difficult situation, but then moving forward and making choices that are going to change the outcome to your future. The Four of Pentacles getting back on solid ground with your finances or in a relationship or in your workplace. It means that there is a solid foundation. There is something that you can work with here. That's the energy I'm feeling. There is someone or something you can work with to improve your circumstances. And that's what you will be doing over the next few weeks. There is potential for growth financially or materially or relationships because we have this two hearts sealed as one card next to it as well. So a relationship starting to improve, get on solid ground or this growth and expansion in your finances or in your material life somehow. We have the Six of Swords, moving away from troubles, moving away from a difficult, challenging environment, relationship, situation, regaining your center. You can see that you are balancing here. You're balancing things. You're centering yourself. You're bringing things into balance internally within yourself as well as externally you're changing circumstances you're changing your environment somehow the six of swords moving in the right direction mentally so no longer there's negative thoughts here there's no longer you putting up with negative people around you you're deciding to move away from this you're making your own choices and you're becoming more in alignment than you ever have before. The Ten of Pentacles indicates that for the long term, looking ahead long term, you're going to be quite successful in business, work, career and finances, material things. Your home environment is going to become stable. So it is at the moment working through a difficult situation where it feels like you have a loss. But know in the long term, you're stronger for it and you're actually building something really nice for yourself. The star energy is Aquarius. So you may have an Aquarius around you significant in your life in some way. The star is about hope. So do not lose hope. 
I feel that for some, this is why this energy of God sustains me is really important because you take the focus away from um, your uh, physical life and you put it in the in spiritual context and that's incredibly empowering and you'll see the higher perspective of things and the spiritual aspect of things the story is about finding your compass your inner compass and moving in that direction that's what you're doing that's what this realignment is um, that's what these changes are happening for so you can be in alignment with your true purpose ultimately so let's take a look at a blessing card for you, Virgo. Guidance for Virgo, please, for the week ahead. Guidance for Virgo. That's a beautiful image there. I'm seeing this image here is the tree of life and you are unfolding in this tree of life right now. So you're in flux, you're in transformation. Things aren't going to be staying the same. I see you're firmly rooted but you're expanding and growing immensely through whatever it is that you're going through right now. Whatever it is that you're moving away from, whatever it is here that is seems like it's in ruin, but um, this is a readjustment period. There's going to be growth, development, solidity that comes into play here. And we have the sunlight blessing for you. A ray of light bursts through the cloud of uncertainty and darkness transforms into light. A new day is born and the first buds of spring appear. You are blessed with the birth of something new. A new season in your life begins with this very special blessing. A new season in your life is about to begin. That is the message here and it's a powerful one. I love it. Let's take a look at three Lenormand cards for Virgo for the week ahead, please, Spirit. Three Lenormand cards for Virgo. We have a lady, so there is a feminine energy around you, someone significant in your life you may be having dealings with. This may also resonate as your energy. We have birds. So this is about communication or a message coming your way. You may be giving a message, an important message, or you may be making an important connection of some kind or having an important conversation. We have the sun. This ultimately means good news. There is good news coming your way or you are giving good news. The sun also indicates that there is good luck coming your way. You have blessings on your side. I feel that this also is the sunrise for you. So maintain a focus on positive thoughts, positive thoughts and a positive mental state that's going to go a long way this week for you. And above and beyond positive thoughts, connect into source energy. It looks like there is victory and success in some kind of endeavor here with the sun. And it looks like there is going to be a successful outcome. Um, it looks like there's going to be a vitality that you're going to be feeling. Uh, you're going to be feeling more physically able to do things, mentally able to do things, and emotionally able to do things. It feels like there is a, an upliftment in your life in this way in the week ahead. So very powerful positive messages there for you, Virgo. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll talk to you all again soon.